standing here in one of our early sweet corn fields for the new year and sweet corn has actually been part of our family business this will be the 26th year our family began in 1988 in a, a relationship with the Maggio family out of Hopeville and then then continued on as we moved our farming operation up into the north end of the Imperial Valley more specific to uh, proximity of the Salton Sea farming region. And as you look out across the field, you have somewhat of a golden green color, and that's reflective of the tassel. The tassel is a part of the process which is critical to the formation of a, a long straight ear of corn. You can see here, I pulled one of the ears and you see how young it is but also part of the, the mechanics is the silk. You see the silk here. And as each strand of silk is connected to one kernel on the cob. And the tassel is what provides the pollen. You can see the pollen as I shake the tassel, you'll see it fall into the, the plant itself. And down in this area, you can see where we have the ears and you see the silk and that's obviously very critical that the pollen touches each silk and then that's what plumps out the kernel. We um, are currently uh, providing sweet corn to most of the western United States for approximately nine to ten weeks in a late spring and early summer. We have three varieties. We have the white, the bicolor, and the yellow and we're obviously very very excited it's been a warm growing period the winter has been above average and that proves to be very beneficial for the sweet corn so with that said the next time that uh, hopefully you see uh, a video on the website we'll have corn that will be probably very close to maturity